Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here doing a video showing you how to install stock recovery on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. The reason you would want to do this is if you would like to accept an over-the-air update and you are stock rooted, so you will see in my app drawer I am, uh, I do have super user right there, I am rooted, but I also have Torp recovery because I did root, so I have a custom recovery, and this video will show you how to get that stock recovery back in case an over-the-air update does occur etc. So to do so, go ahead and actually don't power it off. You can power it off now if you'd like to because we're going to need to get into download mode. But go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video because you're going to need to download a couple files. One of them is going to be Odin Zip and also a recovery tar. Uh, so those are the two files you're going to need. Once you have them downloaded, I'm going to go to my PC now. Okay, and you will see now the two files I've downloaded is Odin 307 and you'll see recovery.tar. You might not see .md5 at the end. I wouldn't worry if you if you didn't see that md5 but anyways what i recommend doing is going to your desktop and go ahead and make a new folder real quick just so you have everything in one place create a new folder you can call it something like odin i'm just going to call it that just because you can call it whatever you want um, i'm going to put that recovery tar in that odin folder i'm going to transfer it on over i'm also going to double click on odin 307 you'll see a folder inside of it i'm just going to click and drag that folder inside of this odin folder so there you have it uh, double click on that new folder that we just created called Odin or whatever you called it and inside you'll see that Odin folder and the recovery tar. So now let's get Odin all set up. Double click on uh, that folder and in, right here Odin 3 version 307 right click on it and hit run as administrator. So run it as admin, hit yes for user account control if you have that set up. And here is Odin. Now all we have to do now, let me go ahead and focus. All right, now all we have to do for Odin is press this PDA button right here. Once we select it, um, go ahead and navigate to our desktop and find that Odin folder that we created. Double click on it and then go ahead and navigate to that recovery tar file that we downloaded as well. Double click on that and that should get added to the PDA slot of Odin. Once we have done that, grab our Galaxy S3 and go ahead and power it on off. Once we power it off, uh, we will get into download mode. So once fully powered off, go ahead and press and hold volume down, the home button and power button all at the same time. Keep them held down until this warning screen comes up. Once it comes up, press volume up to continue. And then this will take us into download mode or Odin mode, whatever you wanna call it. Once you are at this screen, you can go ahead and plug your device into your PC now. If any drivers do need to be installed, let them install. My guess is that uh, my computer, I, this is the first time plugging a device in via download mode, so I don't know what's going to happen with drivers. Looks like it is going to try and install the drivers here. So let any drivers install. Um, if uh, once they're done installing, you should see a box right here that shows up, a yellow box. It should say COM and then a number. It does not matter what the number is. I'm going to let my drivers install, and then I'll be right back. All right, so drivers have finished. Uh, as I said, the box right here, not yellow, but uh, bluish box that says common, then a number doesn't matter what the number is. Once that shows up, lets you know Odin recognizes your device. Just go ahead and hit start. And once you hit start, it's going to just flash that recovery image. It won't take long at all. And once done, it should reboot your device. If you have any issues with Odin, try using a different cable. That's usually the main culprit to having issues. Try using a different USB port. Um, and that's that's just about it for troubleshooting steps and then as I said our phone should now reboot and once it boots up We will now have that stock recovery So I will show you that real quick after my phone boots up All right phone booted up uh, you can unplug your device once it reboots your your device You don't need it plugged in anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to my app drawer You will see I am still rooted you'll see super users still there any root program will work now But I'm gonna shut it off and get into stock recovery as always, press and hold volume up, home button, power button at the same time. Let go once the Samsung screen lights up. And here we go. Stock recovery. There you have it. You should see the Android system recovery 3E up at the top. You do not have Torp anymore. You have that stock recovery, so you should be able to accept over-the-air updates. There might be occurrences when being rooted might conflict with accepting an over-the-air update. Uh, it kind of depends on how Samsung does it, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, but other than that, that should be it. You should be able to apply uh, updates at your will. You should be rooted as well. If you do accept an over-the-air update and you are rooted, you might lose root access. You might have to reroute. Um, you can just follow my same video. That video should work just fine rerouting. Um, even if you are on a later version, it should work just fine. It should install Twerp again, and then you can just flash that uh, root zip, and that's it. So that's how you install stock recovery on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.